Hey guys, welcome to our fourth example in our exchange economy series where we solve for a competitive equilibrium. In this video, we're going to consider the most extreme case where we have a consumer that has perfect substitutes preferences and a consumer that has perfect confluence as their preferences. Let's go. So we're going to be considering the same two by two economy. This time consumer A's preferences are going to be perfect substitutes with a heavier weight on uh, good A, this being 2XA plus Y. And for consumer B, he's gonna have these Leon Teeth uh, preferences where we have min XB, YB. The size of our economy is going to be three of good X and three of good Y. So the size meaning the number of goods that we have to work with. And our initial endowments start off where consumer A has all of good X and consumer B has all of good Y. So we're gonna solve this problem step by step. So step number one is that we're gonna write out our consumer's budget constraint, noting that we can normalize one of our prices. This time it's gonna be the price of good Y being equal to one and the price of good X we're just gonna keep there. We're just gonna call it P though. Step number two is that we're gonna use the optimality conditions from each consumer. And I'm gonna be careful with my language here, not to solve for the intermediate demands, but we're gonna use it to get information about the structure of our problem and our preferences here. So we're gonna use this optimality condition for consumer A, uh, and that's uh, you know gonna be a little bit uh, hard because like you're gonna say like this isn't how you solve for your demand equations, but just, just hear me out. For consumer A and we get information regarding prices. So if we were to go and take the marginal utility of X all over the marginal utility of y, we just actually get two all over one, which is just two. So our prices are just equal to two. So it's a little bit more of a roundabout way of finding out stuff. For consumer B, we know our no waste condition from the structural of this Leontief sort of preferences there. So for step number three, using the budget constraint, initial endowments and intermediate demands, we're gonna solve for the demand equations and final demands. So for consumer B, uh, we're going to start there because we have the easiest problem to go and work with. We go and we sub in our endowment, which is three for good Y and nothing for good X. And we sub in X uh, for YB there. And we go and we find that X B star conversely Y B star is going to be equal to three all over P plus one. Noting the fact that we discovered what price was is that being equal to two, we go and we find that our demands or the allocation for consumer B is gonna be equal to one of each of these goods. Now for consumer A, we're gonna use the resource constraint to go and obtain the allocation for consumer A. So we're just gonna put in three minus the amount taken by consumer B and of each one of these goods, and that's gonna be two and two. Now, we're gonna go and define our competitive equilibrium for consumer A and consumer B, that being two, two, that is two of good X and two of good Y for consumer A, and one of each for consumer B, as supported by the price being equal to two. So, this is how we solve this extreme case. And two things to go and take away from this. Number one is that we learn that prices are determined by our consumer which, with perfect substitutes. And the allocation really is determined by our consumer with perfect complements. So I hope this video helps and other ones before. Please let me know what you think. Take care.